Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem thirteen in chapter nineteen. Chapter nineteen is about the heat. First law of thermodynamics. So there we can see we have the thermometers, right? And put in water. There we consider the heat transferred from this thermometer to the water. Completely no energy loss. So now we need to find the initial temperature for the water. So how can we do that? So first we can check the quantity given. So first of all we look at the glasses. Glass. So glass the mass is given m1, and also we can get the temperature changes by t1. Use final temperature minus initial temperature. We get it here, and check out his book. You can find the specific heat for glass is C1, 0.2. Uh, now we look at the water. For water, the quantity given is about volumes. It tells us it is 135 milliliter of water, so we convert the unit to meter cube. The next one we can think for water. Right? Then we can write the temperature changes as a final temperature minus initial temperature. There we don't know the initial temperature of the water. So this is a question ask you what was the original temperature of water. So we write the letter T to present it. So we can use the final temperature 39.2 minus T as a temperature changes for water. The next one we can check out is the book. Get the specific heat for the water as C2, right? C2. Oh. Now we can see it tells us the heat transferred from the glass to the water. So that means the Q glasses is C1, M1, dart T1, no problem, CM dart T, right? And, uh, the heat by the water is C2, M2, dirt T2. So we look at the M2. This is a mass for the water. We can get it by using density times the volumes, V2. Okay. And then it is 135 gram. Now we can see the energy is conserved. So we use the initial energy, C1, M1, dirt T1 equal to final energy, C2, M2, dirt T2. Then we input all the known quantity inside there. You can see only unknown quantity is T. Solve this equation, you can get the T around 40 centigrade. Thank you.